How about the patriarchs? The patriarchs, suppose you're not able to have children so important in that world. What do you do? You get a proxy and you take the, the gal who is a handmaiden, a concubine. Well, now you say, well, is the Bible in favor of concubines? No, the Bible reports this. There are many things the Bible reports that it doesn't teach. The Bible says there is no God, but it doesn't teach that. It says the dummy says that. Well, literally the fool. And they don't blurt it out. They at least say it in their heart. The fool has said in his heart there is no God. Psalm 14, verse 1. So here you have a report, too, that Sarah... When she was unable to get pregnant, she said, take Hagar, chapter 16. And so Abraham did what his wife said. He was in submission. And uh, so he took uh, the Hagar, and then Sarah got jealous, and she sent Hagar away. That was also a no-no. That went against Emily Post as well, because once a concubine or a slave woman had a child for the master, you couldn't put them out. Sarah put them out. So it was wrong on all social conventions there. Uh, how about the same thing with uh, Rachel and Leah? They couldn't get pregnant either with Jacob. And so Rachel says, take Bilhah. And uh, Leah said, take Zilpah. So we got a little contest going here. And you got proxies into the fray. Does the Bible teach this? No. But is this true to the culture? Oh, yes. That's Emily Post to that day. We have read numerous tablets, again, that that's exactly what they do.